How to keep your motivation as a freelancer. Seven tips to keep your motivation as a freelancer. Hello everybody, my name is Stefano from Labelado. If you're a freelancer, you are your own boss. Now it's up to you to stay involved, productive and keep working on the things you love. Here are some ideas to stay focused and motivated. Number one, work a little less, but be very focused. The time marked by the clock is measured mechanically, in minutes and seconds, while the real time is subjective and really personal. When you're at your peak of focus and engagement, time flies, and it never seems to pass once you do something you do not find stimulating. So despite having available 24 hours each day, you can't guarantee that you simply can dedicate exactly an hour to be present on that task with identical results. Number two, break down goals. Work is like food. Some things are palatable that you simply want to sink your teeth into them immediately, while for others it takes a touch longer and a few are simply unappetizing. What's the solution? Break down the four most challenging tasks into small bites easier to tackle. Number three, follow an idea. Decide what your goals are within the short and future and follow an idea to realize them. Of course, this does not mean you've got to manage some time right down to the littlest detail, but planning ahead allows you to know what you will be doing and when, avoiding taking over an excessive workload. Whether it is a detailed business plan or a daily to-do list, having an idea helps you stay focused. Additionally, there's the satisfaction of ticking the things off the list as they are completed. Number four, reward yourself. The fact that you simply run your own business is to be admired and reason enough for you to offer yourself some small rewards. And then the awards have a robust motivational value because they enhance your intrinsic stimuli, establishing an immediate link between commitment and recognition. Try to reward yourself consistent with the degree of commitment instead of the results achieved. If you've got completed an easy but unappetizing task, you have worked harder than doing a posh but fascinating thing. Give yourself a pat on the shoulder. Number five, be prepared for the unexpected. When things don't go consistent with plan, motivation suffers, but life is filled with surprises and therefore the less attached you are to your expectations, the less discomfort you will have if you will not fulfill them. The key to handling unexpected obstacles is to gauge them from a neutral point of view. Consider the opportunities, not just the downsides. For instance, your biggest customer has gone out of business. That's a nasty thing because you've lost a source of revenue, but it also means you've got the power to look for brand new customers and perhaps even update your prices and merchandise in view of a replacement. Number six, set work hours and take breaks. It's very easy to run out of ideas if you do not have a hard and fast work schedule. Always remember to take care of an honest work-life balance and include breaks in your daily and weekly work schedules. If it's difficult for you to seek out motivation, take short breaks around the hour. Revisit to figure after a brief time. Number seven, seek results. It's often helpful to see the advantages of achieving business objectives. Reward your hard work and the achievement of your goals with a special dinner or a shopping spree. If the goals are set by you and you create valuable rewards that are consistent with your personality and your achievements, you will wake up every day motivated to complete all of the required tasks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos about e-commerce, packaging and how to design your products. Leave a comment down below if you are a freelancer looking for inspiration. Hit the like button and as always, love you all. Ciao!